Is this overkill? Hey guys, so it is about four o'clock, the sun is setting, and I just got done going to an estate sale for my main channel video, and I decided that I should just start this vlog because I'm about to go to the thrift store and find something for a fun little DIY that I have planned, so I figured I would just start a vlog here. So I've been seeing these really cool aesthetic candlesticks on TikTok. Have you guys seen these? Because they are everywhere on my For You page. But basically what you do is like take a regular candlestick and you like shape it into different shapes. Like you can do like twirls. Yes, I'm parked on the side of the street. Let's just not talk about that. Okay, so basically you just like twirl the candlesticks. Well, like you have to heat it up and then you twirl it and it looks really cool. So I've been really wanting to try that. So what I think I have planned here is I'm gonna go to the thrift store and try to find little candlestick holders, you know, like the little, like either glass ones or metal, like brass, like brass looking ones. I want to try to find that. And then I think we're going to go to Michael's and maybe Hobby Lobby and see if we can find some of the candlesticks. So that's the plan. I'm going to head to the thrift store right now. I'm going to take you guys along and hopefully we can find some candlestick holders and then we will find some candlesticks, hopefully. Also, it's so weird that I have my Jeep here because like the first day that I was in town, I was like asking my mom where her keys were because like I forgot that my car was here and she's like, don't you remember you have a car here? And I was like, oh, forgot, it's a new concept for me. Okay, so I'm switching over to my phone because I need to get a new vlog camera and I just don't want to bring my big camera in with me right now. It's just not, just not the vibe right now. Honestly, it's so beautiful out. I'm living for these sunsets lately. Like yesterday's sunset was immaculate. Like it was so freaking beautiful. So one good thing about the Midwest, they do have some good sunsets. It's so freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I know we're here for one specific task, but I saw these guys. I don't even know how much a Christmas tree should cost, but I don't think my parents have one. This is actually a nice one. This is actually very large. 54, this one is 40. Okay, so something, well, not like this because it needs to be a, like smaller, but this is kind of what we're looking, oh, yes, this. This is exactly what we want. This is 99 cents. Amazing, okay. I'm gonna put that over here. Another one. This is $1.50. We want that one too. I should have gotten a cart. Another, ooh, guys, look at this one. Oh, oh my gosh, that almost fell. Wow, that was scary. This is everything. This is beautiful. Wow, actually there's another one. There's so many. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cart actually because I'm gonna want a few of these. Okay. Literally just saw this. I do like the flames on the arms. That's kind of cool. Okay, we're just gonna get this. I wasn't planning on doing any other thrifting besides the candlestick holders, but you know, it's in my bones. I can't stay away. There's also these little guys. Guys, there's like way too many. I should not go overboard, but I really want them all. Also, this one's kind of cool. Wait, this one's actually, that goes on, where did this even come from? I don't know, but this one's actually really cool. I feel like I need that one. Wait, this one's really cool too. Is this overkill? <laughs> like, I think it's overkill, but I also, I'm just very passionate about this new venture in my life. And I feel like these would make really good gifts, like for the holidays. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold on to these for a second. We're gonna, we're gonna keep walking. It's like I can't, I don't know. 
This one's not that cool, actually. We're gonna, we're not gonna get that one. Oh, speaking of candlesticks, this is actually exactly what we want. So I feel like this is a good price, three for two dollars. Yeah, we're gonna get that too. So this is a good color, but they're kind of short. But honestly, I think they'll be good. I'm gonna get these two. So I'm gonna check out right now, and then I think I'm gonna head to Michael's. I think I thrifted this exact one and it was only a dollar. Okay, so I found these and these are part of the advent calendar. So this is gonna be really good. Maybe silver would be cool, like this sparkly silver. I think I'll just stick with getting two of these for now. Also, they have so much Christmas decor. These are really cute. I like that. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday and I am in line for Starbucks. So yeah, it's like 10 in the morning and I wanted Starbucks because, okay, so the, a few days ago, I tried to get a peppermint mocha and they were all out of the peppermint. And it really, it was, it was a, it was a damper in my day. Not gonna lie. I didn't used to be a fan of it. I thought, well, I get half of the sweetener in it because I'm gonna get a venti and it comes with five pumps of peppermint and five pumps of mocha, which it, I think is just overkill. It, like that's so many pumps. So I'm just gonna get three pumps of each and see how that is. Also, my dad requested a cake pop. That's like his new thing that he gets all the time. So whenever I make a Starbucks run, I always get him, well, this has only happened a few times, but I've gotten him a cake pop. So, yes, he loves his cake pops. So, gotta get him one of those. I got your cake pop. Aha. Here you go. Nice. Also, they accidentally gave me an iced coffee, but I um, corrected them. <laughs> get anything to drink or you got something? Yeah, I got my peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha. Yummy. Also, yeah. I got a cake pop as well because I always take a bite and it's like half of it. So. Figured I'd just this get my own. Funny. Yeah. What are you working on out there? Should we come look? No, I was going to suck up the last of the leaves. Ah, okay. All right. Well, enjoy. All right. Thank you. I just got ready and I will say okay little PSA get yourself a peppermint mocha like and you don't even have to get all the sweetener in it because it's just not necessary like I want to be here to tell you guys like a little PSA like just get half the sweetener I'm just saying I feel like in the past I haven't liked it because it's just so overpowering like just get half the sweetener and thank me later I wanted to interrupt this video a little bit well it's not even interrupting it's just basically telling you guys my obsession and you guys have heard me talk about them before and it's the brand Ana Luisa and it's the jewelry brand that I am obsessed with like it's all I wear anymore I did a sponsorship with them back like a few months ago and I seriously just that's all I wear and they were kind enough to work with me again on this video and they sent me a few more of their pieces so I just wanted to show you guys them this is the first one it's this necklace right here so yes yeah, got this dainty little necklace that I love like I've been wearing this almost every day since I got it and then these earrings I am also a big fan of it's like this little spiral hoop and this is great for every day because it's not too big but it also has a little bit of personality on it just because it's like you know different than just a standard hoop and then I have two other ones that they sent me so I will show you guys that and also they come in these cute little bags this is another one of my favorites it's these little paper clip earrings and I am just obsessed I love how they're so little because they're great for stacking and then I got another pair of earrings and these ones are also so adorable they're these little like tiny cuff earrings and one of them has a little moon and the other one has a star. I had these ones on yesterday in my second hole, but I think I want to put the little paper clips in my ears as well. So I'm going to do that. So adorable. I love that. 
So I love that their pieces are high quality and long lasting but without the markup and their pieces range from $39 and up so you're just getting a great piece of jewelry for not as expensive as you would find somewhere else like I just feel like they have such good quality pieces for you know the fraction of the price and Ana Luisa is currently running an exclusive Black Friday sale right now on their website so I will leave a link down below to that offer if you guys want to go ahead and shop their site and get stuff for your friends and family or yourself for Christmas. This is the perfect time to do that because they are running the sale right now so you don't want to miss out on that. So the goal for today is to do my candle making because it's not even candle making, it's just like candle reconstructing. Yeah, so I bought 11 of these candlestick holders. This one is honestly like I am obsessed. You know that TikTok? It's like you don't understand. I'm obsessed. No. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. <laughs> We're just gonna go downstairs and we will start this DIY. Very excited. Also, I just wish I was orangey right now. Like, guys, let me just tell you about this guy. This man right here. So ever since I moved back home, he comes into my room at, I'm not joking, 7 a.m. and will not leave my bed until 8 p.m. No, 6 p.m. So literally for 12 entire hours, he is on my bed. Like, he doesn't get off until 6 p.m. when my dad feeds him. It's just, honestly, I'm jealous. But also, just, I think he missed me. And, like, he loves me so much. So, feeling very honored and just love this guy. But it makes me a little sad because I feel like he's getting older. And it, he's just not as active. And it makes me sad because I love him. But, yes, he's, I want to I say he's, like, nine years old. I think we did the math. I cannot remember but yeah, he's like about nine years old. He's getting old. But my last cat lived to be 18 though. So I'm like, he might have a long life ahead of him. I'm hoping. But yeah. No. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. <laughs> don't tell Orangey though. I do miss Grey Boy. But it doesn't take away from my love for Orangey. But like sometimes I think about Grey Boy when I like look back at my pictures and I do miss him. And I hope he's doing good. I think he's doing well, but I just miss him sometimes. Okay, so step one is to get a little container like this and put warm water in. At least that's what... Maybe I need to do it a little bit warmer. But that's what the videos that I was watching said to do. So let me put a little bit more hotter water in here. And I will be right back. Then I said to just stick in your candlesticks and let it sit in there for 15 minutes. So we're gonna do that. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's see if it's moldable. I don't know if it's warm enough. Let's see. Whoa, I don't think this is, well. It sounds like you're crunching it. Really? Might need to go for a little longer. Oh, that's not good. Is it working? Kind of. Is this one is. Warmer? Um, I did it warmer, but this one isn't all the way this color. It's like white in the inside. Oh, just kind of. Well, that could be cool though too. Oh, so, I yeah. see what you mean. Okay, I ended up putting hot water in here, not boiling, but way warmer than I had it. Well, okay, so this one is sad because. It had white underneath it, so it's all coming off, but I'm gonna try to still do the twist. Let's see if it works. I did hear that you need like maybe a certain kind. A candle? A candle. I okay, this is a fail. We're gonna move on. Ooh, these ones are already bending. Okay, oh. this one might be a good one. I don't know what we should do with this guy. What? It's like shedding a layer. Oh no, I think I did it too warm actually. Now I know what they're talking about. Oh no. Come on, jump up here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come up here. What are you doing? Okay, we're just gonna try this here. I'm scared. It's like breaking. Buddy, do you wanna help me? You are just so fascinated by this, aren't you? I thought this was gonna be so easy. Oh, wow, hi. Candle making with my cat. It's what I do these days. This looks so bad. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see if the other one looks good. Oh, this is just not. Actually, honestly, 
think we're kind of getting somewhere. Wow. Oh my gosh, wait, it looks way better now. Okay, I kind of give up, I'm not gonna lie. These people made it look way easier. But maybe I just have the wrong kind of candle. All right, that's it for this video. I'm so sorry to all my friends who I was planning on giving this to you for Christmas. Um, you will not be receiving one of these. Um, it's just for your own good, so won't be you won't be getting one for Christmas, sorry. Okay, so these are the only ones that turned out semi-okay. So these are both of the ones that I got from the thrift store, actually. So these two had white on the inside, so I wasn't able to do the twist without it showing. So I just did this little, like, curve situation. I'm not in love with it, but, I mean, it is what it is. So this one, I, I'd say, like, it was a success, but I do need to perfect my technique just a bit. And I think I just had the wrong candles, except, especially these ones, because these ones had white on the inside and we definitely don't want that because when I tried to do like the swirl it like definitely was breaking so let me know if you guys want me to try this again with the right kind of candles that you're supposed to use but for now I think these turned out okay the other ones from Michaels definitely were not the right kind of candles so yeah I will not be attempting it on those ones again so yeah that is all thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video in the back seat, what's left of me Just like an ocean, negativity is getting closer. How to keep the human, it gets colder, you know.